You guys came through in a major way this week on Photo Assignments. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today, we are going to look at your work from Photo Assignment number nine, which was a little bit different. I was a little bit concerned about this, and I wasn't sure how we were going to make out because this was a little bit different. I signed it right before a major holiday in the U.S., and the idea was just a theme that was open for you guys to interpret on your own, and that theme was personal freedom. And you guys really blew me away on this because it's just very different, and when I was looking at the work and I was putting this together, I really had to just sit back for a minute and you're going to see why in a second, but people interpreting what freedom is to them and what that means on a personal level was a much broader, wider and diverse range of ideas than I thought. And I realized that everybody is just open to communicating through an image. This has nothing to do with an idea or composition or a technique or something like that. This is like the real deal when it comes to photography. And I'm sitting there looking at these when I'm putting them together. And I just kind of had to sit back because, and I tweeted about this too, because it's like, you know, we're, I'm basically getting to connect with you guys through photographs. And that's the whole point of everything we do here. Anyway, I'm really proud of you guys. And I want to just kind of just mention a few things before we get going on this, because I think it's important to understand. But it's interesting the range of iconography that people used to represent what personal freedom means to them. Obviously, in the United States, we had the 4th of July, so fireworks were a big deal, which was expected, and there were some great images with that. Bicycles were a common theme. Motorcycles were a very common theme to represent freedom. Uh, the ability to travel, the open road. But then it got kind of interesting, because there were images like being able to walk for the first time after recovering from a knee injury that was personal freedom or something like surviving a flood or a disaster that's personal freedom uh, learning how to drive that's personal freedom and one of my favorites was a mother of twins who finds freedom in being able to lie in bed on Saturday morning and enjoy the quiet and what's amazing about this is there's no right or wrong answer to any of this and there's no one way to portray anything and that represents the complexities that we have as humans that I don't think are celebrated often enough. And I think that diversity in that range is going to be shown here. So I'm going to quit talking without further ado. This is your work from photo assignment number nine, Personal Freedom.
Excellent work. I want to congratulate everyone who submitted something. This has really become one of my favorite things that I do here on the show when I take the time to sit there and go through social and look at the things that you guys are submitting. Now, I want to draw your attention to somebody in particular, and I think this is really important, and I apologize in advance if I'm mispronouncing your name. This is a Chilean photographer who submitted several things by the name of Carlo Macharoni, and Carlo submitted a bunch of images, and that's not uncommon. A lot of times people submit multiple images, and because of the format, and I try to keep things fair, I narrow it down to really just the best submission and I limit it to one per person. But I really, it would not be fair to the work that Carlos submitted to do that with him. And so that's why I want to talk about this a little bit. And Carlos is a wonderful street photographer and captioned all of his stuff. He submitted through Twitter. And I was looking at this stuff and this first image that I did feature in here was on the Chanyarel disaster, which was a flood that happened in Chile, I guess about two years ago, that displaced over 300,000 people. And having that represent personal freedom, I mean, that was something that I think because of a cultural difference of me being in the United States, I look at and I'm really in awe of. And there were other images too. Um, there was two images that he submitted of the Chilean primary elections that the power and the freedom that comes with being able to vote and what a privilege and a right that is and celebrating that in images is important. These are harder to tell what they are if you don't see the caption and you're not sure what you're looking at, but they, they're more powerful. There was another one he called Migrant Father, which is a Haitian family that's I assume been displaced, but they're living in Chile. Um, and another one that was just very light hearted, but really cool too, of it's called Famous on Their Holidays. And anyway, it's wonderful work. And I just wanted to call attention because I think Carlos submitted some really excellent work and it's really hard just to limit that down to one image. And I didn't want to belittle the other images. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyway, this was very different. And, um, I think that maybe this is something that we'll incorporate now and then into photo assignments. It was just, just an interpretation challenge. You know, how do you see this? And what it does is it gets people to communicate through photographs. And we don't think about f-stops and medium and format and all that stuff. It's, it's all secondary. It's all important, but it's all secondary to being able to communicate through photography. And I think that's really important. Anyway, we got some other cool things coming up in the next two weeks that I want to talk about. Um, we are almost... Well, we're a little more than halfway through with the Artist Series Season 2. And I'm really excited about you guys' reaction to these. These are very different videos for me to make. As I've said before, I was a little nervous about these because they're really different. And um, I'm really happy that you guys um, have accepted them the way you have. And if you haven't seen them, I will link up to a playlist here so you can check that out. I think it goes up here. Um, anyway, so I've got two more left. Uh, this week on Wednesday, we will be, or I will be releasing Pedro Meyer, um, who is another Mexican photographer. And then next week will be the finale of Season 2. To, uh, featuring Keith Carter and both these videos as the rest of them I'm all very proud of. Um, Pedro Meyer is an incredible photographer. Um, he's, he's a bigger name in Mexico in the photography scene and not only for his contributions as a photographer but for what he's done for the photography community in Mexico. He has spent his entire career under this attitude of it's not every man for himself or every woman for herself it's as a group if we help ourselves as photographers we will all benefit from that and over the years he's led photography clubs and he's been just a major player on that scene and most recently he has opened up this huge museum called Photo Museo uh, Los Cuatro Caminos and if you want to see that I have a video I'll put it in the show description that I did when I was in Mexico and I got to go and see this and there was a Joel Peter Whitkin exhibition. It's a beautiful museum. And Pedro has made some very significant contributions to photography in Mexico and what is happening down there. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Um, he's also uh, very opinionated and uh, very outspoken and um, some might find him a little controversial, but I think it'll be a fun video and it was, it was just a complete thrill like everybody else to get to meet him and everybody's different. and. Um, Anyway, so I'm really proud of the artist series. So anyway, watch for that. That'll be out Wednesday. Next week will be Keith Carter. And until the next video, if you guys enjoyed this one, please remember to like it, share it, subscribe to The Art of Photography for more videos. I will have the next photo assignment in the next couple days. Got to think that through a little bit. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.